Hello and welcome back to Multimodal. I'm your host, Baxty Future. Today, I have a very special announcement. This episode is going to be really brief. I want to let you know that the series I've been working on, it's a YouTube series called GPTX DALI and our Multimodal Future. It is being released tomorrow. It's being released Tuesday, August 31st at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on my YouTube channel, which you can find at youtube.com slash B-A-K-Z-T future. Once again, it's youtube.com slash B-A-K-Z-T future. Uh, the series essentially uh, shares my vision of the future of AI and creativity. It covers a time span from the years 2023 to 2031. I've spent the past few months working on this series. You, you know, across you know Substack and this podcast, I've mentioned it a few times. I've shared uh, some preliminary notes and ideas I had, as well as how it's going. I've shared those details with you. Uh, now is your chance that you can watch the series and experience it for yourself. Uh, so the first video drops tomorrow, and then there will be a video every weekday after that uh, for the next 18 days, uh, which is a, a pretty different and unique and exciting experience I'm sure you all will appreciate. Uh, the video series covers everything from lessons for creatives in the future, ideas I have on how theoretically you could compete and stand out as a creative, how you could make money with your creative business through AI, uh, as well as my thoughts around how AI, specifically multimodal AI models, could impact society, uh, as well as I have some philosophical discussions too around the ethics of multimodal AI, as well as the nature of creativity itself. If you're interested in staying relevant as a creative, if you're interested in growing as a creative, uh, if you're interested in you know plotting your career and, and thinking about uh, how you could become successful and perhaps creatively fulfilled over the next 10 years, this series is for you. It doesn't matter what creative discipline you're coming from, whether it's web design, music production, architecture, product design. I made this series with pretty much all the creative disciplines in mind. I basically tried to, to get a big, broad, but good sample of the future and bring back the main ideas uh, from the next 10 years to today in a way that is well explained and digestible, but also practical and feels very real. Um, if any of this stuff interests you, uh, I really encourage you to check out the video released tomorrow as well as follow along with the videos being released over the next 18, 19 days. Uh, I wanna emphasize as well, like, and I, and I know it's, it's very common for YouTubers to say this, but I, like, I genuinely mean it. Um, if you are not subscribed, now is the time to subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash B-A-K-Z-T future. And please make sure you have notifications on. The notifications will allow YouTube to just notify you whenever a new video drops for this series. And I think it's the most efficient, effective way for you to just keep up to date because I'm also excited because the audience will also have sort of a community experience where you will all be watching one episode a day over the next 18, 19 days or so. And so it's, 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 uh, it's really important you are subscribed and you have notifications on so you're up to date and you can join everybody else who's watching at the same time as you over the next month or so. Um, one other tip I have, I, I'm not sure if I mentioned this on my newsletter, uh, but I, I really recommend you, you watch each video after the intro. The intro is pretty straightforward. After the intro, I, I really recommend you rewatch every video. And I, I know that sounds very narcissistic to say, and I'm not trying to, this isn't some like crazy attempt to try to game the YouTube algorithm or something. Um, I genuinely recommend you rewatch each video because they can be pretty dense. They have a lot of new ideas, new ways of looking at the world perhaps that simply nobody else has been exposed to up till this point. Like this series, I'm basically sharing a worldview of what I think the, the next 10 years could be like. And so I really recommend you rewatch the videos so the ideas truly actually sink in. It's a lot to take in at first. It might even feel like the series is just moving too fast. Like, I'll bet you some of the ideas will go way over your head. And to be honest, they'd go over my own head too, <laughs> right? But anyways, I, I'm sure like I'm sure you'll enjoy the series the first time around. But I'm just saying if you really want the ideas to sink in, if you want to get the full experience of the series, I really recommend you rewatch each video at least once or twice. And I, I'm sure in your second listen, more things will click and you will better understand 
uh, and and feel the, the 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 vision of the future that I have that I'm trying to share. Um, I'm really proud of this series. Uh, it is a one of a kind experience. I don't think anybody has ever explored the future of creativity in this way. Uh, it is a, a very uh, practical and hopefully realistic take on what the next 10 years of creativity could be like. I'm even excited for the series to perhaps inspire technologists, not just artists, but technologists as well, who may actually build a lot of the uh, creative software and features that I'm suggesting throughout this series. I'm also excited about this series because I was rewatching it uh, over the weekend and I realized like this series from the from an artist's perspective, I would say it's it's almost suggesting this idea of really uh, what I'm calling like artistic acceleration. This series suggests essentially a lot of ideas where I actually think artists can be a lot more effective, produce more art, better art. And as a whole, we may see the whole uh, fine arts, digital media space become a lot more innovative and a lot more since and a lot more uh, f advanced. So I don't want to spoil the series any further. But anyways, uh, uh, now is the time to support. If, if you've ever uh, came across my Substack newsletter, if you're ever uh, finding my tweets pretty, pretty interesting, embarrassing or funny, if you've ever found value out of my YouTube videos, if you've ever learned something, uh, now is the time I'm asking the podcast audience. I feel like you guys know me at a, at a really intimate level. Now is the time to show some love, show some, show some support, tell your friends about the series, tweet about the series, paste the link in uh, for, the, for the videos on Reddit, distribute them to the appropriate subreddits, paste it into any Discord group you're in if, if they're talking about tech or AI. Uh, make sure you are subscribed, have notifications on, throw a like on the video, leave a comment, um, and anything you can do to just show love, to support, uh, goes a long way. I'm really excited about these ideas. I genuinely believe they could change the world and perhaps creativity forever. And so I, I really do want to see these ideas enter some kind of public zeitgeist at a bigger level. The, the love and support that you can show me could help these ideas reach the level that I want them to reach, which would be beneficial for creatives everywhere. I want to close by saying that in the last video of the series, I'll also be sharing uh, an exclusive link to a Clubhouse event I'm going to be throwing just on the series. So the idea is once the series is over, we will all be able to get together on Clubhouse and just chat about the ideas in the series. And also, I, I'm, I'm absolutely interested to hear how everybody found it, what they thought about it. And of course, uh, if they have any questions at that point, it'd be a great time to ask. So anyways, uh, that's it for today. GPTX, DALI, and our multimodal future releases tomorrow. Like I mentioned, tomorrow, August 31st, Tuesday, August 31st at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, please make sure you are subscribed. You have notifications on. My YouTube channel is youtube.com slash B-A-K-Z-T future. Thank you so much for listening to today's podcast. Thank you so much for following along. And I, I look forward to you uh, uh, tuning into the series uh, over the next month or so. And I, I, hope, I hope you love it. Uh, I also, I'm sorry. I also want to just mention briefly that uh, just some uh, just some basic housekeep housekeeping. Uh, over the next month or so, the podcast schedule may shift around. So normally, I try to post the podcast every Monday. It may move around, like maybe weekends, like Sunday or middle or later in the week, uh, depending upon the series. It may have topics related to the series, maybe some additional ideas, uh, some additional takes. Or it may not. It may have something completely unrelated to the series. I think I pre-recorded a podcast episode a few months ago. So, so you may even be listening to an old podcast episode you've never heard before um, on, on the podcast while the series is going on. Uh, you know, I apologize, but the, the, the series right now for this month has the spotlight. Um, and so anyways, like if, if you're looking forward to podcast content over the next two or three, four weeks ago, th two, three, four weeks or so, you may get it. I, I, you know, I'm not quite sure fully what the plan is. You may get it, but also um, don't get your hopes too high. I, I apologize if, if you love the podcast and this is sort of an interruption. But again, I, I really do encourage you to check out the series GPTX, DALI and our multimodal future being released tomorrow. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye.